General Collie, sir. Reports just to hand indicate that the burghers are again daily strengthening their position at Lang's Neck. This means, sir, that another frontal attack on the neck is almost impossible. For the past few days, I've been formulating another plan. To the left of Lang's Neck, there's a tabletopped hill called Majuba. The summit is six and a half thousand feet above sea level. That's about 2,500 feet above our camp. This hill stands directly above the enemy position at the neck. I intend to seize the crest of the Majuba under cover of darkness and from there mount an attack. Gentlemen, detail the following force to leave camp tonight at 10 o'clock. Three companies, 92nd Highlanders, two companies, 60th Rifles, two companies, 58th Regiment, and the Naval Detachment under Commander Romilly. Sir. And order the removal of bright helmet plates. Yes, sir. I see the General's kept his promise. The 58 are going to have another go. Tell me, why didn't he wait for Evening Wood's reinforcements? rifles here and instruct Captain Robertson to dig in and await further orders. Sir. Major Fraser, Sir. all horses will be left with Captain Robertson. From here on, we march. As soon as the men are on top, get them out to their position. Shall we build some form of defense, sir? No. No, I don't think so, Stuart. Let them rest. I overheard. We can cover the perimeters, but surely we can dig in. You heard the order. But, sir, why didn't we bring the rocket tubes and the guns? The Engels route was over the Inquela Berg and along the side of my Jubal. Come, will Spock also have been there? Gee, too, that was by a donker. General, from when are the Rabokke Roy Baikies? Come on, Smit. Come on. Look for the favorite to say to me back to the storm. For the other and three commandos, the first cap, Commandant Roos Manan and Ferrera, and jaag the Engels over the Berg from the Duiven af. Ja, generaal.
Hey, Joe. Lovely way to spend a Sunday morning, eh? I'd rather spend it with a wee bit of skirt down in Maritzburg. Oh, I don't know, Joe. If it snows, you can always go skiing, eh? <laughs> My name's Carter, war correspondent. Building yourself some cover? Yes, sir. That won't stop much. It's good enough for what we shall need up yet, sir. Shall we start digging ourselves in, sir? Well, that's not necessary, Stuart. Our position is impregnable. Nothing short of hunger could turn us off to the Majuba Mountain. Thank you, Mr. Hamilton. You will hold the position until further orders. On my part, to have come up and asked you. No presumption, Mr. Hamilton. But we'll wait until they advance on us. Then we'll give them a volley and a charge.
General, the Engels is verslaan. Do you know Mr. Colley? I know General Colley, the governor of Natal in the Transvaal. Yes, the governor. Are you certain you know him? Yes, I'm certain. Why? Come with me. Is that the general? Yes. Are you quite sure? I give you my word of honor. That is the body of Sir George Pomeroy Colley. You've killed the bravest gentleman on the field today.